Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, and I am here for a video that maybe some of you guys never really expected me to make, considering I usually don't make videos about other YouTubers, so... Yeah, but I'm here for my video about Cover Killer Nation, and it's sort of like a tribute type video. Um, and if you guys have no idea what's going on, um, if you guys don't know, if you don't follow Cover Killer Nation, uh, he is ending his channel and retiring from his channel uh, this year or next year, I don't know. I think he's just going to stop uploading videos by the end of this year. I believe his last video will be his top albums of the year list. I did uh, ask Cover Killer Nation about this uh, video and he was totally fine with it. And I kind of wanted to make a video about it for a while now because, well, um, you know, Cover Killer Nation was one of the reasons that, you know, I guess music reviewing kind of happened on YouTube, or at least, you know, um, you know, when it comes to reviewing metal music. Now, you could make a debate on, you know, ARTV and, you know, people like them being like the pioneers of music reviewing, but uh, I, I feel like as far as like metal goes, I think Cover Killer Nation would take the cake for that. So for this video, I kind of wanted to, you know, I guess, share uh, some memories and, you know, uh, some stories that uh, I had with Cover Killer Nation. So uh, the first thing I do want to mention is that, well, I remember one time in a live stream, you know, um, I was talking to him because, well, if you guys don't know, you know, he lives basically in the same city I do. And I remember, you know, talking to him and I found out that he worked at this FYE that I visited a few years ago. And the funny thing is, uh, you know, I was talking to him about that in a stream one time and he uh, said he recognized me or something like that. I don't know. But like, I, I just found that kind of weird because it's like been a while ago since the last time I've been to that FYE. Now, is it possible that maybe he was mistaken uh, for, you know, remembering me walking in there? I don't know. I, I mean, it's it's possible. I mean, it's possible that he really could. I've been, only really been to that FYE one time, and I heard that that store actually closed down, um, which is a whole different thing with FYE. You know, there's plenty of FYE stores closing down nowadays, especially in this area. So that was a story that I found pretty insane and kind of ironic as well, because I remember going with um, a friend of mine at the time, uh, to that FYE and it was even before I even knew he worked there and this took place around 2014 which I believe he was working there at the time whenever that FYE store was still open so it, it definitely was possible that you know he was <laughs> there that day I guess so yeah um that's kind of like just a little story that I wanted to share it's a kind of ironic story and you know, Cover Killer Nation really, uh, I guess, paved this way for, you know, when it, when it came to, you know, reviewing metal albums, like, I don't know, personally, I don't know anyone who reviews more albums from several bands than he does. Uh, he talks about a lot more bands, even more than I do, so it's pretty insane, um, you know, and it's, it, it seems like he had that kind of obligation at the time to, you know, talk about bands and albums even though even if they were albums that he didn't care for that much he still had that obligation to give his opinion on them i think one of the main highlights to cover killer nation's channel was the rant videos he did i especially enjoyed the original rant he did on metallica's saint anger i thought that was pretty funny to say the least um yeah definitely a funny video i mean it's just good to see that you know he's still you know, keeping his videos up. With his reviews as a whole, like, he's very good at articulating his thoughts definitely better than I could when it comes to reviewing music, even though I would say I've gotten better, but, I mean, he, he did a way better job than I ever could personally. So, Cover Killer Nation, if you happen to be watching this, uh, I just wanted to say thanks for all the great content and the, you know, plenty of years, you know, you made videos on your channel and just the great community that was accompanied by your channel. So 
if you guys have any fond memories or is there something that you really liked about Cover Killer Nation's channel, I encourage you to let me know about that down in the comments. I think you've done some really great videos and videos that could really inspire people more about metal as a genre and etc. So once again, Cover Killer Nation, thanks for all the great content and thanks for uh, making this community for what it is. So thank you so much. Take care.